Met fans, welcome back. Talking Mets with Rob. How's everybody doing? Before I get started talking about the latest rumors about the New York Mets and possible trades, don't forget guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit on that like button. You enjoy all my content, want to see more, want to get notified when I post my videos and when I go live, hit on that subscribe button everybody. Alright guys, so the latest Mets trade rumors that just came down about an hour or two ago, according to John Heyman, the New York Mets are in on Tyler Anderson, the starting pitcher for the Pittsburgh Pirates. He is bound to get dealt very soon. The Pirates do want to trade him before he starts tonight. So what does that tell you? The New York Mets are in on him. And they are also probably going to, if they do trade for him, which I think it's highly likely... That the deal will go down before tonight's game so that they can trade him before his schedule start tonight for the Pittsburgh Pirates. So, as you see here, John Heyman, Mets are in on Tyler Anderson, but so are others. Pirates will prefer to trade the lefty before tonight's start if possible. Now, this is another trade that came out of nowhere, but as I said in prior videos... Regarding the Mets and starting pitching, they are looking at back of the rotation type of starters. Rich Hill and, as you see right here, Tyler Anderson. So, again, a lot of people were talking about Berrios and Scherzer, including me. But, at the end of the day, the Met, I, I told you this during the Bryant video, during other videos that I have done previously, that the New York Mets are focusing primarily on give, doing a blockbuster trade when it comes to a position player and also a reliever. So they were tending to going on the route of back of the rotation starters. That's not going to cost a lot because I think they're saving their big time prospects for a big time blockbuster move as a third baseman. As we talked about, Chris Bryant, Josh Donaldson, Eugenio Suarez, Jose Ramirez, players like that, a third baseman like that, and possibly a big time reliever that go along with that third baseman. So, again, with Tyler Anderson, there's nothing to go home about. Nobody's going to buy his jersey. But he is another healthy arm that the New York Mets are looking to put into this rotation on the back end until Carlos Carrasco can show he's healthy and can start every fifth day. Until Jacob deGrom comes back, possibly Syndergaard. So you see the writing on the wall when it comes to the New York Mets and what they're looking to do with the rotation. Back end of the rotation type of starters, Rich Hill, Tyler Anderson, are the guys that can throw five or six innings, give up two or three, four runs, but can give you a little bit of length to help out this bullpen. So again, Tyler Anderson is not something to go crazy over, but it's also something that you have a healthy arm in this rotation until your big guns start coming back healthy. So what we're going to look at right here when it comes to Tyler Anderson, we're going to look at his career stats because you want to know what he's been doing over his career and recently as this year so to look at his stats right here he came up in 2016 at the age of 26 in Colorado the majority of his career has been in Colorado hasn't really uh, performed well 3.54 ERA when he first came up in the league 19 games 17 games 32 games 5 games 13 18 games so again what is ERA 3.54 4.81, 4.55, 11.76. It was an injury plague season for him in 2019. In 2020, last year, 13 game, uh, he had 13 games, 4.37. And currently this year, he has a 5-8 record with the Pittsburgh Pirates, 4.35 ERA, 18 games started. Nothing to write home. He has 103 innings, so he has been pitching, has been healthy, has not been great. He has 16 home runs, which is a lot for only 103 innings. It's just a lot of home runs, a lot of high ERA. He hasn't pitched well, but again, what I talked about with Chris Hill in my prior video, the Mets are not looking at quality starts. They're looking at how many innings can he pitch, qu quantity starts. Basically, can he pitch every fifth day? Can he give us five to six innings? They're looking for three, three, three to four runs, a game around five to six innings pitch. Exactly what Rich Hill are expected to do. That's what the Mets are looking for. So we're not going crazy over here with the Mets when it comes to high level top of the end starters. Now if Scherzer can fall into our laps, maybe. But again, with the Mets and the Nationals in the same division, we're going to have to pay a premium. 
Berrios does not seem like the Mets are in on him as of right now because the cost is going to be too high. The Dodgers and Padres are in on that. So when it comes to Tyler Anderson, the Mets are in on Tyler Anderson. There is other teams involved, but it's looking like it's going to come to a head very soon. Tyler Anderson will be dealt by tonight before his start. It's just a matter of who it's going to be. The Mets are in. I think the Mets could possibly get him. It's not going to take a lot to get him. Maybe a lower level prospect if maybe a little bit of money, cash going to the Pirates. But Tyler Anderson could be a Met by the end of day. So far, we don't really see the Mets going any better than back at the end of the rotation type of starters. Like a Tyler Anderson and a Rich who the Mets acquired a few days ago. But when it comes to Tyler Anderson, you also have to look at his contract as well. He is not making a lot of money. This year, he's making $2.5 million that he signed with the Pittsburgh Pirates for a one-year deal. So it's not a lot of money. It's basically less than a million dollars left on his contract if the Mets do acquire him. And he's a free agent if the year. So at the end of the day, the Mets can get him for a little bit of money, a little bit of prospects, throw him in the rotation until Carrasco can show he can pitch every fifth day. And we wait until DeGrom comes back as well. So it's he's basically a stopgap type of starter who will be pitching in the starting rotation until we have our top five ready to go, and healthy. Then Tyler, then you can see Tyler Anderson maybe be a bullpen arm, maybe be a long man. It really depends. Maybe he'll just go back to the minor leagues. We don't really know. But it seems like the Mets are focused on back of the end of the rotation type of starter. So Tyler Anderson is an intriguing pitcher that the Mets would look at and possibly get probably today. But again, he's not going to pitch you a gem. He's not going to throw eight innings, two hits, one run. He's not going to give you that. He's going to give you five innings, three to four runs, save your bullpen from coming in in the second and third inning. That's basically what he does. He has not pitched good for the Pirates this year. 4.35 ERA in 103 innings, 5-8 and eight record. He gave up 16 home runs, so it's already a lot of home runs. But maybe pitching in a bigger ballpark in City Field will help with that home run rate a little bit because PNC Park is a hitter's ballpark. So as of right now, according to John Heyman, Mets are in on Tyler Anderson, but other teams are heavily involved. The Pirates would want to trade Tyler Anderson before his start tonight. So look forward for a deal happening soon with Tyler Anderson and with the Mets in the mix. So the Mets are in on Tyler Anderson. We'll see what goes on in the coming hours. It's looking like Tyler Anderson will be traded by the end of today before his start. So we're going to look out for that. So that is your latest rumors regarding Tyler Anderson to the New York Mets. Don't forget, guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit on that like button. If you enjoy all my content want to see more, want to get notified when I post my videos and when I go live, hit on that subscribe button, everybody. Let me know what you think about this possible Tyler Anderson acquisition of the Mets in the comments below, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget, guys, hit on that like button. Hit on that subscribe button. As always, Mets fans, let's go Mets.